Gaza is going through yet another crisis. The twin dangers of COVID-19 and constant Israeli bombings have devastated the city. The COVID-19 lockdown, which was imposed on Monday, was extended for three more days on August 26th. The lockdown was imposed fearing community spread when a case was discovered on Monday. Three deaths and 22 infections have been reported ever since. Schools, mosques and the Islamic University of Gaza have all been closed. There is close to no movement in the streets. The World Health Organization has said that the Gazan medical sector can handle hundreds of patients, but if the number tops 1,000, it will constitute a challenge. The territory has less than 100 respirators. The lockdown has worsened the already difficult living conditions for Gazans. They are forced to stay at home at a time when there is only four hours of electricity a day. The only power plant was shut down on August 18th after Israel closed the commercial crossing with Gaza and cut off fuel supplies. On top of this, Gaza faced a series of attacks by Israel. Israel started its most recent offensive by launching tank and air force attacks in the second week of August. Israeli forces claimed that the attacks were in response to escalation near its security fence. It also claimed that Hamas released some incendiary balloons which threatened Israeli security. Thousands of residents of Gaza have been protesting the occupation near its borders with Israel for several days. Gaza has been under Israeli land and sea blockade since 2007. All entries and exits from the land are restricted and under Israeli control. The two million people inside Gaza Strip live in what is commonly referred to as the world's largest open-air prison. Yeah,